This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we will be conducting a very good session on GitHub Recon or GitHub Docking. We are particularly talking on GitHub Docking as we are seeing in the Google Docking video we have find multiple crazy data about, from Google about multiple websites and all those things that we have blurred and all those cheat sheet that you got in the description where you can find the docs that I personally use when I'm hunting. So in this video, we'll be doing the same, but for the GitHub. So before going into the video, I would like to announce few things. We are having advanced batch three in which we are having advanced recons and multiple crazy bugs. As you guys can see all the contents here and rather than the content, we've got multiple more topics like RCs and all those things at their maximum exploitations and all the personal guides and all the in-depth approach that you need. And other than this course, we have another courses like Bug Bounty Batch 10 and our recorded courses. As you guys can see, all our recorded courses here. And other than this recorded courses, we got few more things. So you guys can check it out in the description. And let's get into the video. So here we are on our computer screen now. So as you have seen the previous part, the Google Docking, we have seen that we are able to find multiple things by using specified keywords on Google or other search engines to find some specific data. Now, we are doing the same dorking process. You guys know the dorking is using special characters to find few specific data on a search engine or whatever the platform you are using. So in this video, we are using git dorking for it or the github dorking. Usually uh, referred as git dorking in short way. So, before starting the video, there are usually two methods for it. So I have written a whole thing for it. So let me open the sublime here. And as you guys can see that we got few things. One automated method and the manual method. So in manual one, we are gonna do the docking by our own. In automated method, we use git docker for it. So let me show you what is git docker. So you can simply go on on your preferred browser. Here I'm on the Brave. I'm just gonna search git docker. Git docker. And I'm gonna find the first link. Git docker by uh O B H E D A 12 Omar Beda. I don't know I'm pronouncing it right or wrong. So this is a Python file as you guys can see this here. And you can simply use this. Uh, there's the usage and installation. Installation will be very simple as you guys know that the requirements for txt is here. So you can simply install the requirements and then execute the .py file here. So that's the installation. You can use this, it can find a lot of things for you. This installation it is the usage of the tool. But before installing and using the tool exactly, you need to understand few things here. You need to properly configure their uh, configuration, APIs and all those things to use this git docker properly or to its maximum potential. Now, let's take a look on the manual one because that's what we are going to do today. And in the end of the video, I will show you screenshots of how I was able to find some critical bugs and how I able to cross confirm them and I will show you how I got the bounty of all those things in the end so make sure you watch this video till end or else you won't understand the thing now for uh, for github docs uh, I have uploaded a, already I have already uploaded a PHP for or txt file on the github so you can simply write where you point at github docs and you will find the first link git doc.txt that's a txt file of 91 docs here now I have copied the file here. Okay, so here we are on the sublime. We don't need this now. So uh, let's take a look here. We got this uh, GitHub docs for finding files and all those things, but where where we are gonna do the docking things? Like if you are here for by watching the sub by watching the title of the thumbnail of the video as git docking, then you know we are gonna do something in the GitHub. So as referred to its name, we are going to do something in the GitHub. Now that's the GitHub home page. And here is the search bar. So when I'm trying to enter any target, I'm just going to enter my target in between two double quotes. So uh, let's suppose my target is Sony.com. And now I'm going to use this thing, file name and the Travis.yml. Now you can suppose your file name in the previous video. We have seen in the Google docking that we are going to use db.sql file to find 
their database backup right in the previous video we have seen that now here we are just try here we are going to try the same thing here so in the code ratio the code ratio is zero so yeah we haven't done anything here we got nothing here related to the db.sql but now let me tell you a very important thing here when your code ratio is between uh, how it like between 0 to 1000 there is a low chances that you will find something but when your code ratio is above 1000 you will there is a high chances that you will find something crazy so i'm just going to type my target and as you guys can see that my code ratio is around 37000 so definitely i can find something crazy from this git working process right so i will try a few more like file name the db.sql okay i haven't got that let me just try file database file name database i got nothing here it is not gonna be simple like this the file dot database you won't find anything you need to have a proper understanding of multiple files like dot yml like what are the different files that usually people are gonna use how the website is developed and all those things and the purpose of doing git dorking is very simple you need to understand that developers can leave important data and multiple things into github by the mistake or whatever you can say that by just a random a misunderstanding and whatever the cause behind it developer can leave sensitive data into the github so definitely you should take a look here so let me just specify my file name as um let's say let me just type the index.html so I got new index.html, the exact file, right? Let me just add a slash here. One more, I got nothing here. No issues. Now, we are going to use the file name. You know how to use the file name here. But now, let's try to use another one. You can also use the path sites in the database passwords. That's a very crazy one too. Now, the Shodan API key. You can find API keys, obviously, right? But many of you are having a question how to exploit API keys. That's a very simple thing. If you have found any API key, go to the key hacks. Key hacks. Specify your API key. Suppose my API key was Firebase. Okay, suppose my API key is a Firebase. Now, here is the way to exploit the particular Firebase API key. So you need to understand now how I was able to exploit the Firebase key, right? Simply, you can just uh, type your API key here and all this thing. But I would really suggest that before reporting or exploiting any API key, read the documentation. So you will find additional exploitations for it. And if you want a very detailed video about this, then DM me or just leave some comments in the description. I'll be making a new video on it. Now let's focus on the git dorking here. Let's try to find Sudan API key. We got zero thing here. No issues. If you want to, uh, if you want to specify our language, you can just simply do this thing: language dot Python, right? So we got all the py files here, as you guys can see that we got 335 results, which is kind of average when it comes to working. Now. Let's take a closer look into it and when you are just gonna look into it you will see that it is having the sony.com highlighted obviously you got some sort of email of author you don't know what you are gonna find right there are a lot of things that you will find but you need to just find something specific for it when you're gonna search anything on github you need to be specific what you are trying to find now let me just remove the language here and change it with the uh, uh ruby let's say Ruby, I've got 56 files here, like email and all those things. So that's a kind of average thing, right? You usually get this thing. You can also uh, try to find the PG pass, the idea 14 dot key, the OR token. Look, the OR token is very important when it, when you are able to do those sort of things. It's very important. Heroku API keys, wbconfig.php. Right, we can try to find these things if your if your website is uh, based on WordPress, you can definitely try this thing. And one more thing that we are uh, where do we need to take a deep look into it is very simple. You need to have a proper look on your target. Like suppose you are trying to find 
some sort of dot py dot sh file whatever you are trying to find you find a lot of emails and all those things now there is a thing how will you report them so before reporting anything you need to clarify two things are you able to exploit that particular details and the details are having any sort of business impact or not you need to specify these two things and then you have to report them but after checking these two things you can also check one more thing that the author of the particular thing like suppose i have found uh, let me just remove this let me just remove this thing and change it with language dot uh, language with the uh, js okay i'm just typing the js suppose i have found some sort of very critical thing into this intercept dot js okay now you have cross check the first two things but now after that you can do one more thing suppose you have found uh internal email passwords maybe some sort of details and logins if you have find username and password of their internal admin portal or employee logins right like not a single one you have found more than 20 25 30 40 50 whatever the amount it is at least more than 30 if you have found all those details on it then definitely check that the reporter or the actually not the reporter actual publisher so our publisher is p uh pustin whatever he is i'm just taking example here you can just simply check their own you know company or their working so when i will be showing the p uh, the poc how i was able to get the internal id database and all those critical things in that i have mentioned that the particular data the internal portal and all those things the username and password the thing that i got from the git dorking that was published by the senior developer of the particular company i'll be showing that don't worry about it so let's go to the github once again accidentally left it let's just type the sony.com once again now how you will find the api keys so i hope till now you know how to exploit particular api keys and all those things now let's take a look on how to find api keys so you can specify the api keys header here you have found zero results okay you have found literal zero results of it no issues let's try to do this one you can also create your own you will it will be having a very good benefit on anything you can definitely create your own on it so i found 183 of api key right so as you guys can see that api key equals to maybe in that sort of scenarios i might find some sort of api key which is really a critical one maybe some sort of um shodan key or whatever i can find right if i have found api key and i am unable to confirm that it is from sony or not then i can do a very simple thing i can simply check out the publishers or the repository owners profile if he or she whatever the gender it was is the employee of the particular company in our case it's sony so i will definitely try to check it out now then you can just try for authorization bearer oauth token you can also definitely try for oauth in oauth you can find very crazy things so definitely have a deep look into oauth and if you don't know what is oauth or if you are not having a very deep look into oauth definitely check out the video already already uh, done on this channel in this playlist same playlist check it out the link is in the description you can try for client secrets uh, API token, client ID, password, user password, user pass, passcodes, then password hash, and all these things. Now this one is for finding username. If you are able to find the username or the organization name, you can simply try this one. You can try this one. We are unable to find, but definitely you can try this one for very important things. I will usually say you can try for username. You can try for username if you're able to find it. Let's try for username equals to. So here I'm trying to find username equals to if I am able to get it. So there's some sort of username equals to, but I don't know if it's actually a great thing or some sort of information disclosure or what. So I'm unable to confirm that. So I'm not gonna report or do anything here. But definitely. and one more case i would really like to mention is that sometime you think that there is a vulnerability but in actual case it is not a bug or it's not any sort of disclosure that's just a demo data so be aware that you are not going to be very fooled from a demo data so definitely check out the whole repository 
just don't check the single line or single set of lines now after the username you can try for the uh, creation date definitely that's a great thing the creation date so suppose i don't want my cre i want my creation date to be 2023 just make this one and one so i want something that is created after or like before it right you can specify a time after and before or equals to it right? you can see this thing you can also mention the location where it was created and all these things the user and usernames so uh, this is an example that how you can chain multiple into a single one suppose you try to find dot js file okay like suppose you may let me use the extension folder here extension trick here i don't want dot pm i want just js or if you are able to if you are having any issues with the js finding you can also use the path right you can also use the path one but let me just use dot js okay it's not going to work here sometimes you can use ext for it that's also useful now i want something which is only js 11.5k files here as you can see that right but you want something more like on you want users in it so you can just specify users right so our scope has been narrowed you might get a very broad scope like thousands of files with it but you want something specific in it right so in js i just specify the users let me try to specify it with api so i got 7.7k with api let me just shorten it with api underscore key so let's see what's my code ratio here so i got my code ratio of 154 so we have narrowed our code ratio from 11000 to 154 by specifying our demands right so we can do this thing here just specify our demands chain more and more you can simply do that you can also try to find some passwords let me just change this with password p a w s w r d password and i got 1.3 files that contains the password word in it right so these are the few things how you can use the google docs and here let me show you the poc so in poc you have seen that i was able to find username and password of there some sort of internal logins and after the cross checking it i was able to find that the particular uh the particular publisher the repository owner was the member of their own company right so this is how you can find some sort of sensitive data and the dork i used is mentioned in the description so make sure to check out the dork and that was for the video and don't forget to check out the links in the description and also we are having our advanced bug bounty batch 3 course registrations are live you can check the content and all the courses you might have seen the content in the starting so that was for the video thanks for watching like share and subscribe and don't forget to share check out all the links in the description and see you guys in the next video